Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to talk about what you need to get financing on an RV, um, what they expect from you, and just a little bit about um, RVs and um, uh, financing RVs. So, um, in general, um, you can be expect be expecting to um, get anywhere from a 10 to 15 year loan on an RV. Usually it's about 12 years. 12 years is your uh, average loan that you're going to get uh, as far as time length um, on an RV. Um, sometimes on something that is newer, um, you can get uh, a longer term. On something that is older, they may ask that your term is shortened and you put um, some more money down. Um, so as far as um, an RV that's older, there are banks and places that will finance RVs um, usually the deadline for most banks is 15 years um, in most finance uh, places. However, um, there are several uh, different places that will finance past that 15 years. Um, they're just a little bit harder to find, but they, um, they are still out there. And it doesn't mean that it's going to be any more expensive than it would be if you were uh, financing something before those or you're going to get a higher interest rate uh, or anything like that. Um, so next would be the interest rate. So interest rate, you can expect to get anywhere from like a four and a half to a six percent, usually around five on an RV, at least here in Arizona, as far as uh, interest. And that will also, of course, depend on your credit. If your credit is um, on the obviously on the better side, uh, seven hundred fifty credit score and up, you could be looking at. Um, closer to that uh, low five or four and then if you're you know uh, 650 to uh, 700 you could be looking in the uh, high fives to low sixes as far as what the actual loans require at least this is again I'm speaking for Arizona so in Arizona and what we've run into and again this is very can be very flexible depending upon um, you know who you talk to and what banks you deal with um, but you, um, they're going to look for you to have an above a 650 credit score um, for you to get financed on an RV. Sometimes banks will work with you and work on like if you have assets and you don't have that 650, maybe you have a 600 and you have assets that they can um, use as collateral for getting an RV loan. Um, RV loans, they do expect you to have a little bit better credit being that um, if anything were to go wrong, RVs are always the... You know the first thing to go they're toys they're not meant to be lived in they're not uh, meant to be home so the loans you they do expect you to have a higher credit score as they're not a necessity like maybe a house or living somewhere um, or a, a car so I mean you've heard of you can get a loan for a car even if you're under that credit score and um, an RV you do need to have um, a better credit score um, again, this is for here in Arizona, but uh, the amount that you will need down on an RV, you will need about, uh, <clears throat> I, don't, I don't know if I'm giving you the best uh, video here, I've kind of been shooting sideways, um, but you will need uh, most RVs, and this is, again, if you have an older RV, they expect you to have more than probably 10% down, but most RVs getting financing, you're going to look to uh, need around 10% down um, on the motorhome, and I usually go by the rule of thumb for that 12 year um, 12 year loan that and this is a very rough estimate but you're usually looking at about a hundred dollars for every ten thousand dollars so if you spend forty thousand dollars on an RV you can be looking at around a four hundred dollar monthly payment with ten percent down for a 12 year term and that's uh, just going to be your average with average credit and all that kind of uh, good stuff so um, I mean, other than that, again, I can't speak for all states. Some, so they are going to ask the, the banks or whoever's financing. Um, you are going to ask for your income, your uh, proof of pay stubs, your, and they're also going to look at your debt to income. And this is how many bills you have going out versus um, how much money you have coming in. I think it's if you're over about uh, sixty percent of your debt to income that that's the line where they're like well do you really need an RV and you want to go over that 60% and then they start to uh, 
it gets harder to get that loan. So they looked that you are hopefully under, like I think it's 50, 45% they want you to be under as far as income coming in versus income going, uh, or expenditures or debt to income, income going out so that, um, you know, they know that you're not, uh, you're not uh, very close to if you, you know, run out of money for a month or a week that you can still pay your loan. Um, you know that you have down on that RV all right guys well that concludes this video on uh, you know loans I'm sure you're gonna have some additional questions and I, I know I didn't touch on everything and there's a lot of different uh, variants through states and all that kind of stuff so if you can help anybody out else out leave your comments in the comment section if you know information about your state and what they uh, may require um, more often than not in, in your state because I'm here in Arizona. And if you have any questions that I can possibly answer, leave them in the comments section and I will get back to you. As always, appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you next time.